Setting up warehouses in SAP Business One is critical for establishing the correct locations that will house inventory within your company. Warehouses represent the locations where physical items are stored and are key to any process in the system involving items. To add a new warehouse, go to Administration, Setup, Inventory, and then Warehouses. This will display the Warehouse Setup screen, which is already in Add Mode. At the top of the window is where you can enter the code and the name for the desired warehouse you want to enter into the system. From there, you can proceed to enter in the tax code by clicking on the menu within the field for the tax code. In the location field under tax code is where you can select where the warehouse is located. If the location you are looking for does not show up in the drop down menu, you can define the new location by selecting the define new option at the bottom of the list. Then proceed to enter the location information for the warehouse down below. The location information is important because typically the ship to address on your purchasing documents will be determined by the default warehouse for the item on the first row of the document. On the right are a couple of checkboxes that will change how your warehouse functions within the system. Most warehouses are created for physically storing items, but warehouses can also be set up as a virtual warehouse by using the Drop Ship Warehouse checkbox, which can help you manage the process of shipping goods directly to your customers from the vendor. Drop Ship Warehouses can be used for serial or batch items and cannot have bin locations enabled. To have the option to enable this checkbox, you must uncheck the Nettable checkbox first in order for the checkbox to be available for selection. The Nettable checkbox will indicate that the warehouse will be automatically involved with the standard SAP MRP function. If you deselect this checkbox and do not select the Drop Ship checkbox, then the warehouse will become a non-Nettable warehouse. Therefore, when you run the standard SAP MRP wizard in the future, this warehouse will not be automatically selected and can later be added into the MRP run. In your item master, you may have inventory items that have their GL accounts set by warehouse. If this is the case, then for the warehouses that will house the item, you will need to assign GL accounts to it under the accounting tab in the warehouse setup screen. If your warehouse contains bin locations, you can select the Enable Bin Locations checkbox. This will unlock a new tab in the window called Bin Locations, and it gives you the ability to enter the necessary information for setting up bin locations to serve as sub-levels in your warehouse. Once you are finished adding in all the information for your warehouse, you can click the Add button at the bottom of the window. If you need to update a warehouse in the future, simply find the warehouse you want to update from this window and make the necessary changes. When you have made all the adjustments, you can click the Update button to save your changes. If you no longer use a warehouse that you have previously entered, you can make it inactive by selecting the Inactive checkbox at the top of the General tab. Likewise, if you enter in an incorrect warehouse, you can either make the necessary changes and update the window, or right-click and remove the warehouse. Removing a warehouse is irreversible, and it is not recommended for warehouses that have previously had inventory and later become inactive. After all of your warehouses have been entered, you can assign a default warehouse for your company. To do this, go to Administration, System Initialization, General Settings. From here, make your way to the Inventory tab and select the Items tab. In the field titled Default Warehouse is where you can select from the drop-down menu which warehouse you want to be the default for your company. Once the default warehouse has been selected, you can update the window. Establishing warehouses in SAP Business One is important for determining where each inventory item will be housed within the company database. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.